Hi, this is Catherine from AHA. Statuses in AHA software provide an easy way to indicate what stage your work is in and identify progress towards goals, initiatives, releases, ideas, and features, which also includes epics and requirements. You can customize your status workflow to model how your team actually works. Here, I'm gonna show you how to edit a feature status workflow in AHA Roadmaps. Let's jump in. Now, as an administrator with customization permissions, I'm gonna to go to the account settings for statuses and workflows. This example workflow works pretty well for my team, but I wanna make a few adjustments to match my team's workflow exactly. For us, we don't really have a design phase. When a feature is thoroughly vetted, it goes straight to the development backlog. So let's delete this status. Before a feature is ready to ship, it actually goes through QA. So let's add a status to reflect that. We have an option to add transition buttons. This can help your team move through workflow statuses efficiently. Let's add some to QA. This will add a button next to the status so that if a feature passes QA, it will go straight to the status ready to ship. Similarly, if a user clicks the failed button, the status will revert back to in development. Now let's update the name to make this easier to find in our next step. Now let's apply this new status workflow to our workspace. Because I'm an owner for this workspace, I can go to the configuration and update the workflow for features to the one that I just created. And that's it. If we go to the features board, we now see our new customized status workflow, including the new status QA, along with the transition buttons here. If you have any questions, click get help from an expert up here. One of our product experts will respond very quickly. Enjoy.